on the second day of Vlogmas, my true love gave to me. Oh dear. Um, this is sadly very warm, as in lukewarm turmeric tea that my husband kindly gave me a while ago, and I then completely forgot that I had it. Uh, hello. I hope you're very well, and thank you very much for joining me. Today has been uh, many things. It has been many things. Uh. Me trolling around Tesco for a, a shop that I'm also trying not to overbuy as I'm desperate for us to use up any of the remaining veggies and bits from the whole freezer debacle. And fridge. So I'm trying not to... I naturally just fill cupboards and fill freezers uh, and fridges. Even though it's still lockdown vibes, I feel my ingrained must always have enough food. <laughs> it's quite a strong... it's quite a strong urge. Anyway, fighting that. Uh, I saw my sister this morning and my niece, which was super lovely, uh, really nice time in Kew Gardens and then home for some lunch, then jumping into various bits and pieces. Um, oh, the reason I was singing is because I've seen a lovely, lovely Christmas video. I'm a big fan of Christmas adverts. I just love the fine tuning of the storytelling and... Just imagining what board meetings have happened to bring said pieces of art into be. And yeah, I think there's something that people allow a decent bit of coin to go to to make it beautiful and good story. And yeah, I will then happily give allegiance to said companies that do so. I'm terrible for that. Mm. Anyway, Christmas advert side, Christmas video in. Is that the right way around? Anyway, roll with me here. That Di Woolridge has put together and it's a really fun Zoom call gone wrong and it's just lovely. It's all the tropes. It's exactly what I was after. And then it's a really interesting spoken word from the perspective of the Prime Minister hmm, with Christian vibes. So if you'd be interested in that, I think it's great and I'll link it down below. Um, do enjoy that. Um, yeah, I am aware that I have bought ribbon to hang Christmas decorations and just forgot that I haven't got most of the Christmas decorations. I know which ones I'm buying. I saw them in John Lewis. There's, I could tell you all of the ones where they need to be. And alas, this video is going to be me hanging them up. And I realise I only have basically half of them. So I will nobly hang up the half uh, in a mo. I say a mo. I need to finish work officially because I don't know what time it is. But I don't think it's work finishing time. I'm currently sat here. I can't show you my screen because it is copyrighted material and that could just get me in bother but I have been curled up in this hanging chair reading the audiobook that I'm going to be recording um it's character based stuff which is good but just there's a lot of ways you could do it badly so I've been doing that and then listening back to it on voice memos and making notes mm. it's been really helpful most most of the margins are just smiley faces and squiggles but they mean something to me so that's been good um yeah, and I think that is that is the update from the oh the hanging chair. This is uh, Christmas. This is close. We've got to a Christmas tree um, with the lights. So this is what most of my afternoon has looked like. I'm oh oh. I thought I was going to be able to finish listening through the Bible by the end of lockdown. I kind of started at the beginning of November for the UK second lockdown two point But I have not quite finished. But I'm really getting there um i'm in the new testament and it's been a wild ride uh if you're jumping into this then i've just been listening through on audible a amplified version so it's quite wordy as in it explains things as it goes which i found really helpful and really interesting because i'm often familiar with a translation and so it's been really interesting to have it from a different perspective anywho that's been really cool i don't know maybe i'll say more about that i don't really know who is watching and so who would care for that kind of chat or if people are like nah just sorry to christmas decorations mm. um yes so yes i will show you the christmas decorations that we have and yeah i will also link what i'm going to make tonight which is a risotto slow cooker no not slow cooker i use it in a slow cooker because it's a fancy thing but it's a risotto with butternut squash that is the word i was escaping me and I will put that uh, in the description as well because if you're looking for some wintry vibes of a 
butternut squash and sage risotto. It is my favourite and is also really easy. I, you can basically simplify it from the recipe as well, which I do, which is just don't do any of the fancy bits. And it tastes great. So that is that is that. And up next, hopefully, will be either some food or some decorations. Greetings. Risotto is underway. We have some butternut squash chilling that I had pre-cut. Thankfully, all is well. And I have this sage, I think it's called a risotto maker, that you can basically saute stuff in so you don't have to use loads of pots. I'm telling you this because I'm seeking to cheer myself up after um, having a complete mare with technology. And for some reason, half of my work is saved inconsistently throughout what I've done this afternoon. When you know you were an idiot and you didn't press save, or when the whole thing crashes, it's kind of okay, but this is now the second time, this is now on the app, as opposed to the web browser version, which was also buggy. Ugh! I know I should be able to cope, and it's fine, but when you lose the creative, hmm, when you're doing something and I just have to go and do all that work again, it crashes the soul somewhat. So. We are seeking to not be crushed and move on to such things as fun risotto. Um, yes, this recipe I think is basically foolproof. Um, it's very forgiving. I think I've done it almost wrong too many times. But yes, I'm just about to chuck in the risotto rice to then just walk away and leave it and hang some decorations. That's the kind of tea I'm after right now. So that is, that is what's happening. It's so real, people. It's so real. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. If you know that quote, if you know that quote, I would appreciate the comments section greatly for such a wonderful knowledge of 90s films, I think. Anyway, I won't say any more. Ta-ra! ta We made it. We made it. Risotto is made. Decorations are still not up. We're working on that one. Advent calendar needs opening. Let's roll. Dinner. My husband is very kindly just put the dishwasher on. I am suitably garbed and makeupless, ready for the end of Vlogmas Day 2. It's been a day and we have more things back on our fridge and it needs it needs creative attention, but that is a job for another day. I uh, just thought I'd very briefly whiz you round the decorations that we have up. Here we have uh, a little something from Rocco, which we need to get a candle for. And we have our very exciting, correct nativity. I mean, okay, I appreciate there's a fir tree that is not supposed to be there, but we don't have any wise men who were not supposed to have turned up for a while. We have the star, yes. We have Mary and Joseph, yay. We have baby Jesus. And yep, he's in a feeding trough thing. And yeah, looks like the shepherds have turned up as well. They weren't necessarily in a stable, but I'll take this as a biblically accurate Christmas decoration very wonderfully put up by John. This is our very exciting, can you even see that? Ta-da! It is our decoration for our 18 month anniversary. Uh, it is because we had a wedding that was Disney Pixar up themed. We have our mistletoe one and two. I'm expecting lots of kisses in this area. And we have a hummingbird. Uh, this is from London Zoo because we absolutely love the zoo and it's a little moment of re reflecting and appreciating creation in Christmas scene. We are hoping to fill this with other creational things. We tried to get the Christmas story uh, through <laughs> decorations. We failed, so we've just gone generic fun Christmas, uh, but we will see what else we can come up with. Our living wall is chilling from general times, but we have Wayfair have provided a garland that is lit, which is, in my opinion, perfect levels of Christmas vibe that also didn't cost the earth. That was great. And then we have our satin but appreciated hanging chair with the Christmas lights. So that's pretty much what we got. I mean, oh, I forgot the Christmas tree, gang. I forgot the Christmas tree um, with a little star on top. We're working on that. So that's as much as we got for Christmas vibes. Again, I don't know what the scent was from Advent Calendar, Yankee Candle Day 2, but it's really nice. It's really nice. I'm thoroughly enjoying having nice smelling things around and I'm really excited for tomorrow which is going to be Harry Potter world, Lord willing, all being well, that we actually get there and it's fine and one never knows these days but I'm very very excited for that and yeah I will end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to I invite you to join in whatever this is for the next 23 days. I don't know. 
till Christmas. And notification bell if you would like. And I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye now.